Hey everyone, I'm Dylan. Welcome to my new channel, Make It Work DIY. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I built a weather resistant patio sectional out of stock framing lumber. Since last summer, we've been looking to buy furniture for our 10 by 20 deck. Uh, we needed something that we could comfortably sit four to six people and fit well into a corner space. A lot of what we found online and in store was made out of like thin wall steel frame wrapped in a synthetic wicker covering, not the best quality. These sets range in price between like one and $3,000 and we just couldn't justify spending that kind of money on something that might only last maybe five years. With the ambition to build something on our own, we stumbled upon a cool set of plans for a section on AnnaWhite.com. After a trip to Lowe's and a receipt for about uh, 125 bucks, we returned with a truck full of two by fours and a couple boxes of pocket hole screws. Follow along in this video as I show you how I built this solid wood outdoor furniture for my first time, I also tried out the ancient Japanese technique of torching the wood for a finish that will last many, many years to come. Let's get into the build. The first thing to do is cut all the lumber down to size. The plans for this section all comes with a complete cut list, so it was really easy to follow. I followed the plans and just bought two extra 2x4x8s to provide a stop edge for the cushions. Next was a lot of drilling pocket holes using my Craig R3 pocket hole jig and clamp. I actually got this clamp just for the project and it sped things up quite a bit. I drilled two holes on every frame joint and one hole in each corner to connect the main body frame to the legs. After that, I used two and a half inch Craig coarse thread pocket hole screws rated for outdoor use to make all the connections. The sectional is actually two separate pieces of furniture, a couch, and then a single arm bench that once they're pushed together, match up to form an L-shaped sectional. I did have to use a different clamp in the corners where the R3 wouldn't fit, but I made it work. Once everything was screwed together, I chose to fill in all the pocket holes with Craig plugs and glue. This step was mainly to keep the bugs and any moisture from hiding in the pockets, but also provide better aesthetics. Next, I sanded everything down using an orbital sander, starting with 40 grit, then 80, and finally 120. Then came the most fun part of the project, burning the wood. I had never tried Shusugi Man before, but I was quite eager to give it a shot, so I bought a torch for about 80 bucks at Lowe's that connected to my barbecue propane tank just for the project. Once I had a bit of practice torching some weeds in my backyard, things were good to go. I held the torch about 10 inches from the wood to get a nice consistent char on the wood. In corner spots, I had a couple tiny fires start, so it was good to have a garden hose right there, charged up and ready to put them out.
Next, I scrubbed all the char away using a nylon cleaning brush. I chose to use this brush because first I tried a wire brush on a test piece, but it gouged the wood pretty bad. The nylon brush worked perfectly and left the wood with a nice even finish that didn't even need to be sanded down. Then I sprayed the whole thing down with water to rinse off all the char dust. I was also impressed to see how quickly after the wood was torched, water was already beating on top of it naturally without any kind of sealant. Finally, after drying out in the sun for a day, I applied two coats of Varathane water-based outdoor satin finish polyurethane to seal the wood completely and it was done. So here's the finished product. My wife is very happy with it, so let's call it a success. The irony of the project is the cushions are actually three times more expensive than the furniture itself. Now we got lucky to find a set of six 24 by 24 inch cushions that actually came complete with the pillows on sale at Lowe's for 325 bucks and they all fit perfect. So all in all, this project costs about $500, which is awesome for solid wood outdoor furniture. I have many, many more projects upcoming on the channel. I hope you guys like this. If you did, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment or question if you need help with your own build. Big shout out to Anna White for these great plans. I have a link in the description to all the plans along with all the tools and materials used on the build. Thanks for watching again and we'll see you next time on Make It Work DIY.